My name is Norma Cruz Estupiñal, and I will be completing my oral requirement for Drama 30. I decided to do option two, so I will focus on the film Stand and Deliver and the documentary Zoot Suit. I decided to focus on these two films since they both expose the difficulties Mexican Americans face in America. The films bring up the issues of police brutality and the unfair systems created in America in order to keep people of color oppressed. The film, Stand and Deliver, introduces the viewers to the concept of ganas, which allows viewers to realize that everyone has the power to do better regardless of their skin color or what other people think or the oppression. This kind of film motivates young viewers to keep on pushing and believe in themselves more and not give up on their dreams so easily. The teacher, Jaime, is always pushing his students to not give up, which we can see that in the educational system, we encounter so many people that wanna help us succeed. And then again, we, there is educational systems that want to see people of color fail. This kind of film is important since it shows the true struggle of trying to complete school while being a person of color or having a difficult situation at home like we see many of the characters having trying to be help out in their homes with their families as well as gang related or not believing in themselves enough, thinking, belittling themselves, thinking they aren't good enough to finish. A statistics that I found that really intrigued me was only 10% of Latin women hold a bachelor's degree in America. This statistic just simply goes to show how difficult it is for women or any person of color to succeed or even achieve their goals. The documentary Zutsu introduces younger generations to issues like gentrification as well as the police brutality and how it is still an issue today that people of color face. It hasn't ended and it keeps on going and we just call it different words. Different terms are made up in order for the system to keep oppressing people of color. The film Suit Suit exposes the injustice that people of color receive in a court system. They often are sentenced for so long for crimes later they didn't even commit, which goes to show how people of color are judged so much harder than white color. And we see that in the film. We see how the military officials are let go over and over. They're given their freedom after committing horrible crimes. They are often go on without consequences. Rather, people of color have to face longer sentences or bail that they can't complete because they don't have the money and the system knows it. Both of these films cover tough issues that the Latin communities face in America. Yet, as viewers, we realize that we are the ones that can evoke change. Young Chicanos are often oppressed in America and are led to believe that they can't achieve their goals just because they're from two nationalities, because they're more than one thing, or because their upbringing is just so difficult, they're led to believe that they can't be successful. But each and every one of us has a voice, a voice to speak up and have ourselves heard. Change happens when people ask about issues like police brutality and why it's still happening today and why we let it continue on and think that it's okay. Or issues like redlining, when the government purposely makes the vote of a colored person matter less in a system. Or the educational system, which is failing so many people of color constantly we see so many dropouts and we see that often they go unnoticed or unresolved and the government doesn't seem to care or try to solve that. 
as well as the legal system. There is so much incarceration going on with people of color. They are kept there purposely. The numbers are always adding up for people of color and we don't see that for whites. We all have freedom of speech and the ability to go after our goals. There is absolutely no reason for us to be held back. And these kind of films teach Chicanos that they can succeed regardless of their home situation or regardless of the oppression that is given to them by society, by redlining, by police brutality, by the educational systems, by unfair legal trials. It is time to evoke change within our communities. We can all speak up. We all have a voice. Thank you.